Okay. So this is a presentation of the article and the work of Vivace, a collaborative life coding language and platform. Um, we have seven authors of this uh, work, uh, so I'm going to give a, a personal view about it because I'm only one of the authors. Uh, I'll try to stick to the uh, uh, community documentation so that uh, I don't get stuck in my own views. And this is a reference material to the uh, event uh, SPCM in 2017, the Brazilian Symposium on Computer Music. Um, it's a, a reference for this work, of course. There are many others. So, okay, um, this is a work about live coding, so uh, just a brief words about, uh, some brief words about it. Live coding is a creative and performance technique um, uh, that's, uh, that consists uh, basically in uh, writing code on the fly that uh, synthesizes uh, or organizes sound and images um, and that's used uh, for uh, deriving materials or for obtaining materials for art, uh, for exploratory analysis and um, uh, as a performance, it solves some of the problems of doing performance with the computer because um, uh, it, uh, typically we project the code to the audience, so the audience uh, sees the code in a live screen, screen uh, being written down while uh, we are synthesizing images and, uh, and sound, and that's live coding. Uh, it's writing code on the fly so that uh, you obtain um, audiovisual material. Um, Vivas is a, a live coding a language and interface. It's, uh, it's described as a domain in sp a specific language in the uh, readme file, in the community documentation. And it's also an interface. It's based on web audio API uh, by uh, using Tone.js and it's, it uses uh, HTML5 video uh, to uh, load and edit video files. Its uh, uh, lexicon and grammar is specified using JSON um, so that we can uh, have some flexibility and uh, describe the language the right way right, using a, a proper tool for it. So, Vivas is proposed as a uh, simple to learn and to use language and environment. Uh, it's proposed since the beginning as, a, as, as um, an interface and a language that uh, has a very simple syntax and grammar so that uh, the audience can follow up and, and uh, write code on the fly with the, the performers. Um, it also uh, is conceived as uh, being uh, able to run in popular browsers like uh, Firefox, Chrome, Chromium, um, so that uh, it's really easy to use. You just open a, a web page and that's it, that's Vivasi, as we will see. Um, and it uh, is also conceived as an interface that allows everyone accessing the page to code together. So uh, we can start a server, a local server, and everyone uh, that's connected on the same network just uh, reaches that address. Or it can be a web page uh, with a usual URL, like uh, on, a, on Heroku or a GitHub page. Uh, but the idea is that everyone accessing the interface uh, can code together. And um, some other words about it, as, as I said before, it's uh, built in using web standards, uh, web audio API and HTML5. So it uh, evolves uh, with uh, these standards and uh, doesn't uh, need too much upkeep. And it uh, integrates audio and video, that's something that uh, were found by us and other users that uh, it's, it's something uh, quite different about it. And it allows for uh, 
uh, full control, or, uh, I don't know if it's uh, a bit, or parameterization of audio nodes and uh, by the language. These audio nodes are a part of the web audio API and they allow for many parameter parameterizations like uh, room size, uh, the separation of the delay lines, uh, an equalizer. So uh, you can define these audio nodes and um, parameterize uh, as you wish. So this is a, a very simple hello world. Let me see what time is it okay. Uh, using Vivace, this is on the, the, the new version of it. Uh, uh, I, I will explain some things that we want different and we're struggling to reach them. Uh, you just define the, the, the synthesizer, like here is synth, but you can choose like pluck or strings or uh, piano or something like that. And you define the notes, the pitches, and the durations. So um, we can not use the notes like uh, D, E, and F, but define them in semitones in relation uh, with a root note. And you can define also the durations like uh, one measure and uh, two. Uh, pulses to uh, and uh, th 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 this will loop through each other like the first note will have uh, duration one measure and the second note will have two uh, pulses and then uh, this, uh, the, uh, the fifth here with seven uh, semitones would again have one measure of duration then the four will have two tones oh, this is not only uh, it's not uh, the full story, but uh, it's, it's a great part of it because we're, we're aiming to reach something really, really simple. Uh, this is uh, an example of a more elaborate uh, use of Vivace. So you can uh, uh, pipe or attach the synth to a filter and a reverb and you can parameterize this filter as you're seeing here. You can parameterize the, the reverb as well, but you don't need to. It already has some uh, standard settings. And you can load samples, uh, audio and video files. And that uh, is, is a great part of it. Uh, we can take a look at the README file to see what how things. Uh, People are thinking uh, Vivace at the moment because this is not always very stable. Uh, it, it, we have some uh, peaks of activity where cha things change very much. So let's see. Um, let's use Vivace a little bit to see how it works. F uh, let's open. Uh, This is a, the, the automata. Run. This is the, the current version. This is a, 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 the development version, I can say. So uh, you define the synth, as we said. We, you can have some comments so that the visitor knows a little bit more what he, he, he might want to do. Uh, I will remove this so that we can run this video. Um, uh, you, you press, uh, let me see if I... Control, control enter to start processing. And you can change these uh, values, like, uh, like let's put something a little bit more interesting. that we have a sample here, a, a audio sample and a video sample uh, down here. Uh, I am actually uh, not finding it, but yes, here it is. 
So we can change these uh, values. Let's say we put 15 here and put a So you see now that we have three uh, different uh, images being uh, looped uh, with these two durations uh, in the video. Well, this is about it. Uh, we have other examples to show. I'll not uh, keep uh, much here on this this example. Um, well, well, I'll show another example, but first uh, we might talk about the aesthetics uh, consequence of this uh, approach. Um, let me see. So, uh, by using Vivasi in, in a number of presentations, we started uh, developing a, a proper style, a, st a static uh, proposal. A static proposal. So, we called it free coding because it, uh, it, was, it was achieved by using a very hacking interface. It's more hacky than it is now, so it's uh, really, really hacky. Um, many coders, uh, including the, the audience, were, were involved in writing the code, so it was uh, really sloppy. And uh, we started using monsters because it was uh, it was some ideas that we, we had on doing these presentations, and it's coherent with this hacky interface and. And the, uh, this uh, messy way to write code together, and we made, uh, there are a number of presentations on this, and uh, we reached the free coding manifesto, which was published uh, in a hard copy by uh, some uh, autonomous uh, publishers, like not 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 big publishers, and. Uh, we wanted to use a little bit of terology te te and uh, cryptozoology that because they have uh, many thoughts and reflections about monsters and uh, it might be a nice way to, to obtain some meaningful structures. Okay, we are almost uh, uh, done with our, our time here. We have to finish in a couple of minutes. So this is the free coding manifesto. It's on the Vivace interface as well, as you can see here. Uh, but this uh, is a simplified version of the, the way we write code. So we don't need to specify the, the pitches themselves by E or D or G. You just uh, uh, write them by using the pitches themselves. But here's for the, um, the, the video. So let's see if we can run this because it's not the current interface, so it might not be so friendly as we wish. Let's see. Please run. Was using uh, novelas brasileiras, uh, Brazilian uh, TV shows and uh, novels, TV novels. And we can change like the, the, uh, the values of the starting point of the video. So let's, let's try uh, 270 and uh, 410. Let's see. What So, it's, it's, really, uh, it's, it's not the free coding in the sense that we didn't use monsters in, uh, in the most obvious ways, but it's uh, really, uh, um, uh, it, it holds the, the German of the, the proposal of using uh, uh, like uh, grotesque scenes and materials to reach some uh, artistic performance. And uh, this uh, this is the manifesto you can see that uh, it was written inside Vivaci and it explicit, uh, makes uh, explicit many uh, 
aspects of the work. And the, uh, this is a reference material for us and for many parties. Okay, so our conclusion is um, we, we should uh, be, uh, or, uh, it, it was, uh, the work is, is being used, the Vivas is being used, it's, uh, it's not only an interface, not only a language, because it has some culture around it already, and uh, we believe it's, it's a nice contribution because it's uh, being used and it has some uh, differences between what we found and uh, it has some potential for uh, education because the audience and the coders uh, have the feedback, uh, the instant feedback of what the code is uh, implying for the audiovisual uh, reception of the, the listener. So, but we should try to in us finish this new version of the Vivace, agree on what is the, are the minimal constructions for the language, like uh, how to write code really quickly without, uh, without an, uh, any verbose uh, constructions, verbosity, and uh, implement the modes for writing structures, uh, like uh, less and more specific uh, uh, writing modes, uh, to, to define the pitches exactly or in any octave or uh, the most uh, uh, near uh, the nearest pitches uh, so th there are many ways to write to the minimal of, of characters mm, we want to have a better solution maybe than a HTML5 video because it uh, have many hiccups it's, it's, it's not so smooth as we wished it would be, but it it seems to be getting better. And we we will probably embed some powerful features to reach musical structures, like using permutations. You can define just one sequence of uh, pitches, and a uh, permutation have uh, really large cycles until you reach your your initial uh, condition again. So this is something we we're looking forward to. Um, we will. Uh, maintain some online instances like on GitHub IO or these uh, instances that you, you've seen that I've shown a little bit a while back. Uh, make some uh, more performances, uh, free coding performances, uh, maybe on SASKs as we did done before, or universities, uh, online. There's a number of solutions here. And maybe new versions of the free coding manifesto as this is uh, live aesthetics, uh, it's, it's being developed on the fly as we speak, we're thinking about it, we're having some new ideas. Well, that's it. Uh, any questions, you can write us here. And maybe look around for the article itself because it has uh, many more details. And that's it. Let me stop here.